I might be supersonic to Mad Hatter, and yo, it's all good. I'm the only person in the world that specializes in feathered hat design. I don't make any other kind of hats but feathers. So, you know, if you're looking for a feathered hat, you call me. I know we did a show in Los Angeles at the Barfly, and uh, Margaret Maldonado, an event planner and coordinator, invited me down to Hep's Mansion for this movie premiere party. And Tommy Lee was at the bar. Um, he just got out of jail. I think he was out for a day. And my boyfriend at the time called him Jesse Superstar. And he was a drummer, and Tommy was a drummer. You know, Tommy was like his mentor. So uh, Jess went up and had a conversation with Tommy and uh, came back. He was very excited, and he told me Tommy really liked the hat. When Tommy left, we gave him the hat, and um, he was excited, and I was excited, and Jeff was excited. I knew, you know, from Jeff that he was a big rock star, and he was the best drummer on the face of the planet, and, you know, and that I could imagine him, you know, because he's so cool, just rocking the hat, but it was, it was a cool thing. I was very excited. Next thing I knew, the record company called and said, Tommy wants to talk to you. You know, we're going to give him your phone number. I said, sure. So Tommy called me. He was very excited. He loved the hat and asked me to come to L.A. to make hats for his new video. So, you know, I got on the plane. I went down there. And it was kind of interesting because there was this, like, naked runway show they were doing. His naked women were wearing my hats, you know, to his song. And when Pamela saw how the hats, you know, made the, the scene now magical. She came up to me and said, you know, I'm going to be hosting the MTV Awards. Can you make me a, you know, a pink feather cowboy hat to host? So I said, of course, sure. It, it must have been like hat of the century. She's on television, newspapers, magazines, every single week wearing that hat. I credit Tommy Lee for jump starting, you know, the supersonic feathered hat. Growing up, I really wasn't sure what it was that I wanted to do, but I know that my mom gave me her fur coat, and I came back to her with, you know, a new fur pocketbook and fur leg warmers and a fur vest. Oh, when she was about 12, she had a pair of sweatpants that were kind of worn from all her exercises, and she took them and she cut out the crotch and part of the back and she turned them into a sweatshirt. So at that time I said to myself, this girl is creative. I think it was 1996 when I started designing the hat. I designed one hat and I looked at this hat and I was thinking this is not really a hat, this is like a work of art. You know, like a masterpiece that belonged in like the museum. I showed them to some people and everybody was flipping out, they loved them, so I decided to continue on. You, ha you have to have an amazing, wonderful sense of fantasy and a sense of getting away from every day to wear these hats. This is Wonderland. This is Oz. Well, I met Snoop Dogg through Tommy. I don't know, Tommy made a phone call, and the next thing you know, someone called me and said, go meet Snoop at his hotel. You know, I'm working on a, an underwear line with Snoop, which is called Snoop on the Poop. Um, Snoop's rocking my hat with his face. You know, on the front of uh, the panties for ladies and girls. I want to give a shout out to my homegirl, Ivy Supersonic. You know what I'm saying? Keep it feathered up. Oh, boy. Like, doesn't every rock star in the universe wear your hat? So many of these rock stars, the vibe that they put out is something people can hear. And yeah. the vibe that you put out to make them look the way they want to look is what people can see. So it's like a good marriage. And when you picture these people and you want to see these people either in a video, in a show, walking down the street at a party. You want, you want to see them larger than life. Tommy Lee just possessed the key that unlocks a new reality for me. So, you know, I mean, I just have some mad love for Tommy. I mean, forever.